Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony. Welcome to another edition of BNA Sports Talk. And today I'm about to go live for my weather show in about 15 minutes. But the grind never stops with YouTube. I had to figure out time to record. I can't record it later. So I'm recording now. I'm doing a little bit of an Eagles preview. And uh, tomorrow I'll do more of a detailed thing. Today's more of like a relaxed thing. And you saw by the intro. Man, it's great. And I'm, I'm recording in a sound booth right now. I want, I want to mention that. So this is like the this is like official. And, uh, yeah, so what I'm expecting for the Eagles game, I just want to do some, like, philosophical things. So the 2019 Giants would get blown out. You know, over the past couple of years, we've gotten blown out by the Eagles. We just, you know, coming off a, a game against Washington, the division rival, come again, coming off a game against the uh, Buccaneers. The Washington had a week to prepare. You know, the Eagles now have a, you know, an extra week to prepare as well. And, uh, yeah, so the Eagles, I just wish we would have won that game. I just wish... We could have won that game. We just won one of the. Could we just win one of those games, and we'd be in such a better position? But you have to roll with the cards you're dealt. Golden Tate situation. I haven't really talked a lot about it. Um, I'm kind of just like indifferent about it. You know, Joe Judge did his thing, and he's kind of treating Golden Tate a little bit more favorable than Daniel Jones, who went out to a bar and done did those certain things. But it seems like he's falling in line. And yeah, overall, Joe Judge doing a great job. But you know, we said we need to win games. We beat Washington twice. Just look back in perspective. And we only favored in one game so far, but we beat Washington twice. You know, we were going to have to start winning games uh, to, uh, you know, to inspire confidence, inspire people to come in. Now, I briefly want to talk about the Dalvin Thomas and Leonard Williams debate, uh, where I'm kind of thinking about it. I don't, I was going to make like a separate video early next week about it. Uh, but Dalvin Thomas stops to run. He's great with that. I'd franchise tag him and look to tag, to tag and trade him next year. But I think Leonard Williams is your guy because right now, you're not really doing well as far as uh, uh, as far as like pass rushing uh, at all, you know. So uh, then again, you know we, you know Patrick Graham has done a fairly good job, but relying on Carter Coughlin, Cam Brown, and those guys isn't great. Uh, so the Giants so far they've turned a Bucks a bad Bucks game, a, a bad uh, the Tate situation, bad calls. I remember that game against Washington. We end up winning that game. We're now figuring out ways to win, which is uh, which is good. But we beat Washington twice. You know, uh, I feel like that situation was the Giants were like, let's just not lose. But now against the Eagles, let's just find a way to win. Let's win the game. Let's let's not not lose, if that makes any sense. And Patrick Graham was very puzzled after the end of uh, last game. He he was. He was like, I don't know what they did. I don't know how the Eagles won. They have a bunch of players returning. They have uh, Miles Sanders now. They have, I'm not sure if Zach Ertz is playing, but they have you know, Jalen Rager, uh, Jeffries, like, they have a uh, they have the the plurality of weapons, and I think the Eagles are an average team. They're uh, like they're zero points better than like if you look at the power rankings, they're zero points better than any team. A lot of people are underrating them. I think Carson Wentz is making some mistakes because he feels like he has to do a lot, and uh, yeah. So I feel like he can execute an offense. I really do, and uh, yeah, I think uh, the Eagles are they should be the favorites in this division. I've been saying that all year long. I thought they'd be a seven and nine team this year. And uh, overall, like, all healthy, they're not a 7-9 team. So it's kind of wrong about them. And, uh, yeah, Patrick Graham, he works hard. He's tough. 
he wants to he wants to win for this team and I feel like emotions running out you you're going into the bye week and just think about how great of a feeling it'd be you know screw the Eagles screw the Eagles like who, who even who even cares about the Eagles like I, I freaking hate Eagles fans because they, they won one Super Bowl and they think that they're you know greatest of all time it's like shut up now they're figuring out trying to have ways to win to, let's just let's just figure out a way to beat him I don't care how I don't care take out his legs get up to an early start and then play a run dominant game. I'm trusting Wayne Gallman. I'm trusting Alfred Morris. Uh, come on, Andrew Thomas. Have a, a rebound game. His low point was the Eagles game. Let's have a high point now. Let's let, let's just boss the wall here. We're fairly we're getting fairly healthy now. Xavier McKinney is going to be turning after break. I think Trey Crowder is going to be playing this game. And overall, I'm just very excited. More detailed analysis tomorrow with like you know point spreads and things like that. I think that's what I'm going to do in like you know yards per game. And but today. Just brief uh, talk, talking about this. And uh, let's talk about uh, Carson Wentz's history versus the New York Giants. Uh, Carson Wentz, he's, just, he's a giant killer. It feels like we can never solve uh, solve him. And, yeah, so basically his stats, 58 completion percentage, 57, 66, 71, 72, and 67, and also 54. So we we haven't really did gonna done a good job containing him. We haven't intercepted him that much. I think we only have like one interception in history. I'll throw up like the total like combined stats, but overall it's probably the mid nineties passer rating. Overall, just torching us, even when he hasn't had the plurality of weapons. He's just figured out ways to beat us. I'm sick and tired of it. You Giants fans should be too. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know you guys think how much are we gonna win by uh, tomorrow? I'll do my score prediction now. Giants seventy seven. Eagles 2. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Shout out to Chalk and Giants. Bye, guys.